Hi everyone, it's Catherine here and I'm doing a finished jewellery update for September's Deborah B box. Now, I think I made one bracelet, one necklace and two pairs of earrings and this is what I've got left. A few, oh, got that up completely upside down. I'll take them out once I put them in there, if you see here. I have a few of the sea beads. I didn't use the clots. A few of the funny ones, <laughs> funny ones, I don't know what they're called. And I didn't use this bead. I did start to do something with it and then I thought, no, I don't really like what I had in mind. The only reason I didn't use these is because they don't have holes in them. So I couldn't use them, otherwise I would have done. So, because they're so darn cute, these ones. So yeah, and the cord, I did start to use it, um, but it frayed. I couldn't put any of the beads on it, um, and it really frayed. So obviously I'm doing something that's not quite right. Um, I'm sure I will work out what it is, but at the moment I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong. So yeah, didn't use that. So, but I'll show you what I did make. Um, oh, for those of you who don't know, Deborah Beadbox is a UK subscription. It's £5 a month. It's just a selection of um, colour coordinated beads and findings. And you make, basically, you can make jewellery out of it. It's a brilliant little box, especially for us beginners, because you get more or less everything in there that you can just go and head and make something. And all you really need is the tools. The only little snag with this box was, or is, that you don't actually know what the beads are called because you don't actually get a list in there of what they're actually called. Now, it was um, one of my subscribers, Vicky, I hope you don't mind me saying, I won't say your surname, but I hope you don't mind me saying your first name. She brought it up and actually said, well, you know, could she not put them on her website or something like that? So I actually got in touch with Deborah and... She actually come back to me. She said it was a brilliant idea. She has put it on her Facebook page. So I will put the link below. So in future, if you want to know what is in that box, she has actually put it on her Facebook page so that you can reorder the stuff if you want to. So, which I thought was really brilliant, but she was really, you know, she said, why didn't she think of that? So well done, Vicky. So hopefully from now on, we know what the items are actually in the box instead of, keep guessing so so without further ado i will move on and show you what i made so i'll show you the earrings i made first off now i put these on a card hoping you'll be able to see them a bit clearer i use my own little four mil bicones these are the ear i think these are the ear wires is this one or the other one i can't remember that were in there definitely the head pins it's my own little 110 C beads, um, silver line C beads, and the rondelles. They're just a simple pair of earrings, which I thought were quite cute. So that was the first pair that I made. Put them down there. My second pair, again, I used the 8mm glass beads. And I use the little drops to make a little cluster as such. But I just put them on the head pin and just made a little cluster. And I thought they looked pretty nice, actually. Actually, I think these were the ear wires that come with the box. I think they were a different shape than the normal ones that we get. So, yeah, that was what I'd done with that one. So, I'll just pop that down there. Now, I come up with this idea. Basically, it's not my idea at all, really. Um, it's Alicia's from Beautiful Nights. I wanted to make a wrap bracelet. Now, she made one that you can actually turn into a necklace as well. And I suppose you could turn this into a necklace, but I don't think I'd wear it as one. I actually really like it as a wrap bracelet. So I just use beading wire. I use the, I wish I knew what these ones were called, the funny shaped sea beads as such. The, um, oh God, now I can't, com completely lost it now, what they were called, because she did tell me. Can't remember. Um, my own 
bicones and I just put a little seed bead in. This is the um, toggle class that actually come with the box. So I use that. And basically I just made a pattern, follow the pattern up for a bit and then just change the pattern here which I use these lovely frosted rondelle beads that come in the box and the frosted seed beads and then I change the pattern up again and then I just made a little dangle to go on the end and I really like this I have worn it a couple of times really easy to put on and I had to be fair I thought the little dangle would aggravate me but it doesn't I put it at the side it doesn't actually aggravate me so yeah so I actually really pleased with how this turned out but the idea come from Alicia from Beautiful Nights but I don't think I would wear it as a bracelet, uh, sorry, a necklace. I would don't yet wear it as a wraparound bracelet. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I think that turned out really nice. So, and last but not least, I made a illusion necklace. So that is amethyst. So there was one of the my subscribers that said she th really thought it was amethyst. She was right, it is amethyst. And I just used the silver light seam beads, some monofilament, and used the 8mm glass beads and the little drop beads. Like that. And I just done it as a illusion necklace. And then added the chain, just to make it longer and then use one of the little glass beads to make a well with the extension that's my own extension chain and then just made a wrapped bead there so it looks like i need to push that in a bit more that's a bit loose um i have put i will attach a photo of this um at the end of the this video so you can see what it actually looks looks like I haven't got a lot of room in here to actually um, put the form on so yeah so the basically this is what I made and I actually, do you know what I love this box I basically opened it and then just made stuff straight away I absolutely loved it and for five pounds oh man you can't knock this and it is something I will wear without a doubt. These are items I will wear. So, yeah, five pounds. I've got a wraparound bracelet, goes around four or five times, two pairs of earrings, and an illusion necklace. You tell me where you can go out and buy that for five pounds a month. You just can't. And so, you know, it's so worth the money, this box. And I think Deborah's every month now is going to put on what is in the box on her Facebook page. So I will put the link below for you to go and check out um, what it is. Because, you know, if you actually want to order stuff again, you, you need to know what it is actually called, don't you? So, but yeah, but that's just, that's it really. It's just short and sweet. Love this box. Basically, opened it, worked on it straight away. Because purple is my favourite colour. But it just... You know I just wanted to work on it as soon as I saw it so I'm really pleased with what I've done this with this month I can say week then um, yeah so here's her details if anyone wants to go online visit her website have a look basically that's it she's lovely she responds to you straight away she's got a message messenger service on her website so if you've got any questions you just ask her and she responds pretty much straight away which is really good so anyway i will get on now really and i will attach the photo of the necklace on the form so you can see what the actual necklace does look like and put comments below anything that you want to say anything that will help me make them look a little bit better i'm more than happy to to listen to what you've got to say yeah, so basically, thank you for watching and hopefully you'll come back and visit me in my next video. Thank you, bye.